Today, we're happy to present you ThemePro 2.3. It comes with great features and many usability improvements. We added a new custom file source, so content can now be loaded from the file system. You can also download and upload layouts, styles and element presets and limit the template assignment by page number. These and more features coming up. We've added a new file source to the dynamic content feature of Utheme Pro. It allows you to load content from your file system directly into your layout. Let's say you want to display images from a folder in a gallery. All you have to do is add a gallery element and select Files as the content source. Now, simply choose a folder with your images and map them into your element. Whenever a new image is added to the folder, it will be automatically displayed in your layout. You can also set a path globe pattern to folder files. For example, load files from multiple folders, only load zip files or specific image formats like JPEG or PNG or even text files, so you can map their content into your layout. Next is a feature from the wishlist many of you have been waiting for. Finally, you can download and upload your layouts, styles and element presets. This is great because you can easily use them across different projects. For example, reuse your favorite layout from one of your projects for your next client. Mind that there are now two options to download your customized style in the Style Customizer. Downloading it as less converts the customization to less code, so it can be used to create a less style in the child theme. When you download a style from your style library, it's a JSON file that includes the customizations, the base style, its name and modified date. It can be easily uploaded to the style library again. But that's not all. Utheme Pro 2.3 adds some great usability improvements to its libraries. There is now a search and an item count in all Utheme Pro libraries. Thanks to autofocus, you can type in right away and instantly find what you're looking for. Additionally, the same layouts, styles and element presets show a modified date. There is also a new matching indicator which shows if the safe style or layout is identical to the one currently used. As the number of content fields gets higher, we found it quite annoying to find the needed field for mapping. Now you can type in the field name in the search and easily pick the field you're looking for. There is a new option to limit the template assignment for index pages by their page number. This is great because you don't always want your first index page to look the same as the other pages. For example, now you can show a featured post in a hero section only on the first page of your blog. We've added a button to manually recompile the style in the customizer. Usually, the style is automatically compiled after a change in the style customizer or after a Utheme Pro update, but there are some cases when you would like to recompile the style manually. For example, when you create a custom less style in a child theme, now you can compile the style with just a click. Utheme Pro is a single page application, which needs to initialize and remove editor instances on the fly. Since the Joomla content editors are designed for the article edit page, their integration was quite a hassle. There were JavaScript memory leaks and the toolbar was too cluttered for the small editor area. Third-party editors even needed their own integration, which is why we only added support for the most popular one, JCE. Now that's all in the past. We finally came up with a better solution. We integrated our own tiny MC editor, which works perfectly in a single page application. There are no memory leaks, it's super fast and has a tidy toolbar, even including the Joomla editor buttons. The best part is, clicking the full screen mode button will open your chosen Joomla editor. It works just like on the article edit page and has all its features. No special integration needed. Any third party editor like the JCE or ARC editors should work out of the box with Utheme Pro. The module element in Joomla and its respective widget element in WordPress were two different elements in Utheme Pro and therefore were not compatible across systems. Now the elements are based on the same internal name. This means if you download a layout from Joomla which uses a module element and uploaded it to WordPress, it will change to a widget element. The same applies to the module position and widget area elements. This makes the new download and upload functionality work seamlessly across Joomla and WordPress. 
we refactored the page builder template assignment to make support for third-party extensions easier. Developers no longer need to create overrides for each extension view if it gets rendered through the Joomla view class. We also added the template documentation for developers on how to add template support for third-party extensions. We also significantly improved the GraphQL query execution performance. This makes pages that heavily use dynamic content load much faster. Additionally, we started refactoring the Utheme Pro integration for Joomla. This not only improves the Joomla 3.9 integration, but is also the first step to add support for Joomla 4. We recorded 14 new documentation videos for Utheme Pro. They include videos on how to install and update Utheme Pro, the API key, minimum stability, and changelog. There are also videos for dynamic conditions and the WordPress category order and taxonomy terms order plugin. Get an overview of all the new videos on our videos page. Utheme Pro 2.3 brings many new features and comes with great performance and usability improvements. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the changelog. Next, you can look forward to a new theme package, which will be out in a couple of days. The long-awaited Zoo 4 is also not far away. It will add support for Utheme Pro content sources and templates. Now go ahead and try Utheme Pro 2.3 yourself. As always, we're looking forward to your feedback, so let us know what you think in the comments below.